Valve with with Steam OS has has wanted other manufacturers involved the whole time. When they made the Steam PC, yep. a big part of their showcase was other manufacturers. Somewhere in one of their announcements about the Steam Deck, I remember something about them wanting to make this and then kind of pass it off. Do you think other hardware manufacturers are going to jump on it? This is this is very different than the visit down to Valve. But I, I think other hardware manufacturers have already jumped on. They just aren't the big names yet, right? Like I mean, AM. I mean, yeah, I mean more the like GPD. normie companies. Like, do you um, think like ASUS is going to make a ASUS deck? ASUS probably has prototypes in their lab and is probably sitting there punching themselves in the face over and over and over and over again that they let Valve get out ahead of them on this instead of having hardware sitting there ready for SteamOS to run on it. That is my that is my opinion. I, I think that they are absolutely mobilizing a crack team of engineers to to come out and fight this thing head on. I think that Valve is not making it easy though, which is interesting. So Valve with it's Steam Machines, pricing. it was very clear that that was a third-party ecosystem play. In fact, I don't believe they even, they sold one as a first-party one, didn't they? But it was manufactured by someone else and they were very upfront about it, yeah, if I recall they correctly. Didn't, they didn't really want anything to do with it. And their showcase no. at like CES had a huge lineup of different manufacturers. And exactly. Stuff. Yeah, Valve was, a different approach. was all about, we're building an ecosystem. I don't get that vibe. I think Valve is kind of feeling kind of jaded from... The, their last experience going to market with ecosystem partners and they are they're loaded for bear here like the steam the steam deck is priced aggressively we've talked about oh, yeah. this on the wan show before and you know you see people complaining about the pricing uh, but but compared to what guys compared to what compared to anything that is that is real and actually exists the hardware is extremely aggressively priced for what it is and so while Valve might totally be open to someone coming in and, and creating a, a Steam Deck competitor and, and a product that runs SteamOS, in fact, Aya might, might ship a, a SteamOS preloaded device because it'll save them a Windows license. Like, it's a boon even to Valve's competitors at that pricing. It's going to be really difficult for anyone to undercut Valve because I get the vibe that if they're making money, it's razor thin. And really the play is more support for gaming on Linux, which, um, you know, gets gaming out from under Microsoft's uh, shackles. You could kind of think of it. Um, it frees gaming. It frees gamers from the Windows ecosystem. Um, and it also yeah. generates revenue for Valve because on Linux, Steam is going to be the thing. Their Proton compatibility layer is going to be the thing. To their credit, they've kept it very open, though. Nothing prevents you from running Proton without Steam OS. Oh, on... People want to talk about... This is pretty unrelated. There's been a few different questions about crossing the border. Oh, yeah, okay. I mean, that was... Oh, and I haven't even talked about any more behind the scenes at Valve. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it yeah. was cool. I, I think they've got more than one space, but the space that I was in was... Yeah, it was super clean. Um, Everyone there was super nice. I've never really had the privilege of talking to anyone at Valve before other than uh, one one bloke who appeared to be the only developer working on Steam in-home streaming back when it first started up. So the ability to have your, your Steam gaming rig uh, run a game and then stream it to something else. This is way before the Steam Deck became a thing and Valve took it seriously. They had one person working on it as far as I could tell. And I did get in touch with that individual. Um, we're on Steam. <laughs> I have him as a Steam friend. And that was the only way I was ever able to interact with anyone at Valve. That's been... Oh, and we had a PR rep that replied to my emails, I think, twice. Um, once I managed to get my hands on a piece of Index hardware that I otherwise couldn't get because it was out of stock. And another time I got um, uh, some game keys. So that was that, that. That's it. That's been the extent of my interaction with Valve. Most of the Valve products we've covered in the past, we've just we've just had to buy them. Um, we've had no kind of advantage whatsoever. So it was really nice to finally get engaged with some folks there. They seem super nice. They seem super excited about this product and what it means because it's a lot more than just Steam Deck. Like this is, this is gaming on Linux, guys. That's. 
the real play here. That's what this is about. This is about the PC not just being a big gray box anymore. Now yeah. it's a sleek little black handheld thing, and it's not just Windows anymore. It's not just Intel anymore. This is all the this is the 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 ultimate underdog story here, other than Valve. Um, you know, you got AMD, Linux. Um, it, it it's exciting. It's super exciting, guys. 